Hi, let's talk about the construction. Construction industry has played a major role in uplifting the social economy development of any country. And as such years, urbanization has occurred throughout the world. And most of infrastructure projects are constructed of using concrete. The popularity of concrete has increased due to its availability, flexibility, and durability. And it's why concrete has been utilized in civil engineering applications ranging from foundations, retaining walls to bridges and dams. We're going to need concrete more than ever, but there is a problem. Cement is the binder that holds concrete together, and to make cement, you burn limestone with other ingredients in a kiln at very high temperatures. One of the byproducts of that process is carbon dioxide or CO2. For every ton cement that is manufactured, almost a ton of CO2 is emitted into the atmosphere. As a result, the cement industry is the second largest industrial emitter of CO2 and responsible for almost 8% of total global emissions. So if we're going to solve global warming, innovation in both cement production and carbon utilization is absolutely necessary. Hi, let me introduce ourselves to you. I am Yusriel Ramadan. Hi, my name is Hal Gangara. Hello, I'm Nadia. We are Lakasa 09 from Hassanbin University, Indonesia. In this international concrete competition, we are trying to offer an innovation by food and agricultural waste and also construction waste. Consists of dark eggshell powder, rice husk, ash, and clay brick powder as a partial replacement of cement to produce high early strength concrete with merely one day of steam curing. The reason why we want to use all those materials based on what we've seen in our surrounding and circumstances. A lot of waste, food, and agricultural and construction has never been maximized and recycled. Look at this picture to know material properties of cement. We are going to kick this off with some research. We found that dark eggshell powder, rice husk ash, and clay brick powder contain the same material properties with cement. Dark eggshell powder have 52.1% of calcium oxide. Rice husk ash contain 79.84% of silica and clay brick powder also have 41.47% of silica not only that clay brick powder have 39.05% of alumina in this research we use mortar as a sample to determine the optimum composition of a mixture of clay brick powder, rice, husk, ash, and dark eggshell powder as a partial cement replacement. We make mortar measuring 5 cm cubic with 4 variations which have different percentage of cement partial substitution that we can see on the table. The first variation have 20% composition, the second variation have 25% composition, the third variation have 30% composition, and the last variation is number 4, have 35% composition. Based on the result of the one-day-old mortar test that has been carried out, the research show that the highest compressive strength is produced by a variation of 30% with a strength 3.3 MPa. And by that, we choose 
the variation number three with 30% replacement of cement two making concrete in international concrete competition civil weeks 2021 this concrete is designed with high strength economical and environmentally friendly one method that can analyze an economic object is to use life cycle cost or LCC. LCC or all significant cost involved in owning and using an object, system, or service over a specified period. On the other hand, analysis and quantification of the overall environmental impacts of concrete manufacturing and its application in building projects requires a holistic approach that is known as life cycle assessment. In this research, a new process-based LCA was developed for the purpose of evaluating the environmental impacts of concrete from the extraction of raw materials to the end-of-life stage. So three phase which are initial cost, operation and maintenance cost, and replacement cost. Initial cost is material cost amounts to 845,208 rupiah. Operation and maintenance cost of concrete for 20 years is estimated approximately 30% of initial cost which is 253,562.4 rupiah and replacement cost is the same as initial Therefore, the life cycle cost of this concrete is amount to 1,943,978.4 rupiah while the LCC for normal concrete is amount to 2,284,248.4 rupiah. So, we can conclude that concrete with rice husk ash, that actual powder and clay brick powder is more affordable and economic. The ISO 14040 standard systematically defines the LCA methodology by explaining four different phases. The first phase is the goal phase, the environmental implication of using res The third phase is the impact assessment phase, which identifies the potential environmental effects. This phase includes the processing of raw materials, transportation, and the production of concrete. Also, the boundaries of the system include the energy required for the processing and transportation of the materials, for the treatment of artificial aggregates, and for mixing are shown in picture. The fourth and the last phase is the interpretation phase, in which information from the results are evaluated. At the stage of LCA, we considered all of the inputs and outputs of the life cycle phases. The LCI data that were considered for each process are shown in pictures. Based on the research, we can conclude that the suitability of clay brick powder, rice husk ash, and that actual powder was assessed by conducting the physical and chemical properties of the ingredients. By the experimental, performance will be prevailing all samples to reach compressive strength test with a minimum of 15 MPa one day after mixing process. The usage of clay brick powder, rice husk ash, and dark shell powder in high or least tray concrete as a replacement of cement can decrease the emission of greenhouse gases to a larger extent, which automatically increases the possibility for gaining more of number of carbon credits. Also, it could reduce the consumption of natural resources and encourage the reuse of agricultural and construction waste.